All right, guys, it's about time for you guys to find out how to maintain your cars, find out your car problems, and how to find solutions to those problems. Welcome to the car show, and this is the Auto Check segment. My name is Gift Davy. For those of you who just joined in, this is that time where you get to learn one or two things about your car that you do not know, some problems that you're even too busy to pay attention to, and how you can find solutions to all of these problems in your car. So today I'm at Aljima Auto Limited, located at Isheri Alimosho, Lagos, Nigeria. So if you're around this area and you're looking for a space where you can fix your car, a trustworthy space actually where you can fix your car, you got the right place right now. But you know what? I'm going to go on a short break and when I come back, the owner and the person who's going to be taking us through this process would be joining me. to the auto tech segment and joining me right now is the ceo of aljimo auto limited his name is mr jimo how are you doing today sir i'm fine i can see that i mean and i'm loving the overall you guys can see the name clearly written on the overall so today we're talking about electrical problems in cars yeah. so what are the common electrical problems that cars develop these days okay like um range over we have a problem of a charging system charging system and uh, we have fuel system as well you know the situation of nigeria of today mm -hmm. our fuel is very bad terrible yes. i know so it can like be terrible. Uh, some cars like range rover and mercedes benz they used to have fuel system mm. fuel system issues issues yeah maybe probably like uh, like fuel pump fuel filter mm. ejector so when these things happen what happens to the car when you have a fuel system problem uh, the car will be it will be misfired the misfire is maybe uh, maybe fuel pump Fuel filter or mm. nozzles. Okay. Yes, and um, nozzle of a Range Rover. It's not like all these Toyotas. Mm. So like this one is very hard. Oh, okay. Yes. So at least when you have a, uh, that actual problem, we we lose the nozzle mm -hmm. and we check it. Sometimes okay. we service it. Sometimes we replace it. So today you guys already know some of the things, some of the common problems cars develop when they have electrical problems. So today we're going to be fixing this car. So what is the main problem of this one? The problem is the oxygen sensor. Oxygen sensor. Oxygen sensor and catalyst. Okay, so what is oxygen sensor for those at home who don't know what the, that is? The oxygen sensor is, a, we call it a fuel trim. Fuel trim, okay. Yes, that is oxygen sensor. The catalyst is catalyst converter. Okay. Something that converts, uh, converts carbon to steam. Oh, yeah, that okay. is catalyst converter. Okay, so these two things have issues this in this particular car. car. Yes. So how are we going to be fixing it? Then we remove the uh, the oxygen sensor and we check. We okay. check the footage mm -hmm. and we look the uh, catalyst. We check if the system is true. Right. So we run we run the diagnosis. First of all, we run the diagnosis. Yeah. After run the diagnosis, we fix it and we recheck if everything is hundred percent perfect. Then we seal up the car and start driving it. Yes. All right, you guys heard it. It's time to get to work. Let's go, guys. The Biswaya is a post catalyst, post catalyst trim, like I told you earlier. Yeah. Post catalyst system, system to reach, bank two. So, so we are going to lose the, uh, the spark plug. Okay. and we check the nozzles. So that is where the problem is from. Isn't this amazing, guys? Just by connecting the diagnosing machine to the car, we're able to detect all the problems from the cylinder misfiring to the catalyst damage and all of that. Now it's easy for him to know where to lose in and what to start fixing. I mean, technology is just mind-blowing. Stick around. you learn one or two, I'm sure. So there's another car that we're going to check out Yes. now. So what's the problem with this one? It's misfiring. This one is misfiring? Yes. So what are we going to do to fix this one now? We are going to remove the plug and put another one. Okay. What can solve the problem of this one is uh, to, base, to buy fuel in one place. Instead of to buy oh. here, buy here, buy here. Oh, so that can also be a problem. Yes. So when you're buying from different four stations, yes, it's, it's a problem. problem. Wow, I mean, I did not know that. I'm just hearing that for the first time. Anything else you can do to avoid the problem? Yes, the flood. Rain, Rain like flood. Also cause it, yes. mm. But this one, we, we cannot avoid this one. Whether you like it, but this is Lagos. 
yes, yes. he would either pass a place that is flooded or rain will fall in your area one way or the other but if it's avoidable you should avoid it uh, and uh, maybe like uh, once in a year mm. so you have to service the uh, remove the tank and flush the filter to flush the filter yeah, uh, if there's dirt inside the tank mm. Okay, so we're making progress. Yeah, sure. What are we about to change now? We're about to change the plug. Oh, so yeah. we're taking out the old? Yes, this is the old one. Okay, these are the old yeah, ones. The one we remove. This is the new one. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's unfortunate there's not so much I can do here. I mean, this is for professionals. So I'll just stand by and look and watch. Because I'm wearing white. So guys, they're done with the plugs and they've tried fixing literally everything else that needs to be fixed in this car. And right now the car started and it's sounding really, really smooth. So some of the problems this car had earlier, noise and sound was part of it. And right now it's been fixed. And he said something before. So now the car is going to drive smoothly without any problem. Can you try revving so we can hear the sound? Okay. As you can see, this car has been fixed. So right now, we'll go to the other car so we can finish up the fixing for that one. This is fixed. So if you have any of those problems in your car, plug problems, whatever electrical problems, in fact, whatever car problems you have, Algimo Auto Limited got you on the lockdown. So that is that on this car. We're moving to the next one. And that is the Land Rover that has been diagnosed. Work has started on it already. So now it's time for us to just wrap that up so you guys can see the finished work as well. change the plugs and we change the oxygen sensor yeah so, and we flush the catalyst converter yeah so oh. everything is 100 percent perfect now so, so this guy is ready to hit the road yes so after everything we did the um, factory reset because this oh, is a, okay this is land over machine mm -hmm. factory machine mm, you guys check this out so this is a machine that is also used to for, uh, reset for land, Rover. yes. for land rovers yeah that is wow. special function oh wow that's nice. So now we have a good enough car to hit the road. Yes. Wow. Okay, so Mr. Jimmo, in case anybody wants to reach out to you guys and they need your services, how can they reach you guys? So they can reach us through uh, WhatsApp or Instagram handle. In, on Instagram handle. What yes. is your Instagram handle? Algimo Auto Limited. So in case you missed that, Algimo Auto Limited is yes. right there on your screen as well. In case you missed it, Algimo Auto Limited on Instagram. You can send them a DM. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimo, for the opportunity to be able to do this. I've learned one or two things. So now I know not to drive my car when it's really raining or know how to drive my car around all these things. So this is where I get to wrap it up on the AutoCheck segment today on The Car Show. 